Now, if I open the sidebar by pressing Command Shift E, actually the Explorer, and then I can go to the app.js, click there, and now I can toggle the sidebar with Command 1. You can see this is okay, but uh, I'm not happy with the spacing between the two lines. So what I can do, I can change this, the spacing between the line. So I can press command and comma, and then I can search for, uh, let's say space, uh, spacing, uh, I don't want, so I can say lines, hmm, uh, there is no, or maybe height. So I search for height. So when I say height, actually we, I got this line height and this we want. So if I say it is a one and then go into this app.js, oops, we did something wrong. So we need to make it like five and see, no. So what about 10? Okay, so we did some mistake. Zero to compute line height from the font size. 30 yeah 30 is good now it is clear for every line height next i want to uh, make the font a little bigger because uh, i don't want to zoom in like this and if i zoom in then everything is zoomed in so i want to actually change the font size so i search for font and font size i want to make it 14 let's say how about 14 and yeah that's good 14 and what about 16 this is too large so 14 is good for me so this is nice next is if you want you can change the font weight that means how bold it is and which is actually given just after this font size so i can search for i can have 100 and which is i think the default one or i can have a 600 for bigger but i think normal one is good next let's do something for this cursor blinking cursor and once again i can search for command and comma i go to setting and then then search for cursor actually cursor <laughs> and then we have a blinking how you want this to be blinked so normally it is blinking you can have a smooth blinking like it is very smooth animation and you can have a phase i like this phase but the most exciting one is this expand so you can see it is now whoop 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 <laughs> so it is expanding i like this one next setting you can check it what you want to be a cursor is it a line a block just like this or a underline just like this yeah so always i like the line you can also control the width of the cursor so if i say zero that means it is the default one but i can also say four which is a little thick one so let's have the thick one here okay so this is the one and uh, yeah that's good let's talk about the global search global search means searching in your project the full project so how we can search so once again let's open the activity bar and here you can see we have this uh, lens icon which is actually for the global search so i want to search by mistake i have uh, console log so yeah we have this console log which is in service worker but what if we also have a console log in any other file like here we have a hey and then once again we go here and check you can see we also have a console log here since we have the shortcut here so command shift and f we can easily search between any file if you want to search for a specific file then you just need to press command f and then search there so now you can see console log is search from here and here this uh, asterisk dot asterisk means you can also search via regular expression and that will be beneficial if you want so this is about the line height cursor and global search